Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw an example based on Euclid's division lemma. Now we will see the common errors which occur while solving these types of questions. Example 1. A shopkeeper has 1517 pairs of shoes and 902 pairs of slippers. He wants to keep them in boxes in such a way that the number of pairs of each type of footwear remains equal. How many pairs can be put in each box to do this? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. Since here we have to find out the equal number of pairs of both type of footwear that can be kept in the box, so we have to find out the 8 CF of both. And for this we use Euclid's division lemma. Here 1517 is greater than 902. So we substitute the value of A and B and solve. If you have selected option 1, then it's a good try. But it's a wrong answer. As while using Euclid's division lemma, you hastily select dividend in place of divisor. Because of which your answer gets wrong. Here, to find HCF, we used Euclid's division algorithm, which is based on Euclid's division lemma. If you have chosen option 2, then it's a good try. But this is also a wrong answer, because when you apply Euclid's division lemma again to the new divisor 902 and 615, then you get negative remainder which is not correct as in the lemma. Value of R is not negative. It is either greater than or equal to zero. And in this procedure, we don't get zero as the remainder value. This we also ignore. And for this reason, here, you consider 615 as the HCF of 1517 and 902. Hence, your answer becomes wrong. If you have chosen the third option, then it's correct. To find the HCF, let's solve this using Euclid's division lemma. Here, 1517 is greater than 902. We repeat the process of Euclid's division lemma until the remainder is zero. Here we get remainder zero. So the process ends here. Since the divisor at this stage is 41, so the HCF of 1517 and 902 is 41. So the option 3 is correct. Hope you must have understood why the third option in this example is correct and the rest all are incorrect. Teachers can also check the understanding of the students in the class with the help of such examples.